The opening games of rugby union's Six Nations have been entertaining and exhilarating, with England relying on a second-half comeback to beat Italy in Rome, eventually winning by 27 points to 24. And Scotland had to survive a massive fight back from Wales in a thrilling 27 to 26 victory. Ollie Foster reports from Cardiff. Cardiff has its castle. They used to have a fortress just around the corner as well that had kept the Scots out for 22 years. This time they were given the keys. The Welsh fire extinguished, the walls truly breached. Pierre Schumann tunnelled through for their first try. They beat Wales by a record score last year in Edinburgh and they picked up where they left off. Duhan van der Merwe strolled through. He's quicker than that, a lot quicker. Stretching his legs in the second half, he stretched the lead to 27 points. Wales could have folded, but they fought. The rebuild was remarkable. They've got their own flyer, Rio Dyer. Does Cardiff still believe? Four unanswered tries, and they were just a point behind. But the clock was against them. The comeback cruelly cut short by the final whistle. So Scotland's long, long wait for a win here comes to an end after an extraordinary match. England were also winners today, and that wasn't straightforward either. There's rarely a given in professional sport, but this fixture's as close as you can get. 30 games, 30 England wins. But what was this in Rome? Two Italy tries, and they had a half-time lead. When Tommaso Alan went over the Stadio Olimpico, was ecstatico. Alex Mitchell edged England in front for the first time in the second half. What an effort from Alex Mitchell! George Ford kicked them ten points clear. Italy weren't done, though. Monte Oane with another score. They fell three points short in the end, but that's the closest they've come to beating England. The immediate emotion for them in Rome, relief. Ollie Foster, BBC News.